Hi STAT students! In this video I am going to show you how you can use SPSS to calculate descriptive statistics on one of your data sets that you should have downloaded last week. I'm going to go ahead and look at homes and so I'm going to click on this one up opens SPSS and the one thing I wanted to show is remember that if you're in data view you get what your headings are across the top selling price list price area acres how old the home is how much pay in taxes how many rooms bedrooms etc but I think it's also a good idea to take a look at variable view to help you interpret what's going on so pretty much the same thing um, our labels, but also notice how they have the units, list prices in dollars, living areas in square feet, selling prices in dollars. And then notice that our way of measuring this is all going to be in scale, scale data. So anyway, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take a look at three of the different variables that we have here and do some um, descriptive statistics with them. So what I'll do is I'll go up to analyze and then I'll go to descriptive st statistics and then I can go down to descriptives and I'm going to put in what my variables are which I'm interested in looking at well what was the selling price how much did it list for and how old was the how were the houses then I'm going to click on options all right and here I want to make certain that I have my mean my standard deviation my variance I'm going to have my range my min and my max and I will have the data displayed in order in a variable list so I'll go ahead and go continue and then OK and there I get my table that has in the columns it has my number the range the minimum the maximum the mean standard deviation and variance and you'll see that the different um, variables that I was looking at are listed in rows now let's try it a different way We'll keep with selling price list price age, but this time I'm going to go to analyze and I'm going to go to descriptive statistics, but instead I'll go to frequencies and I'll put in selling price, list price, and age. This time I'll have to pretty much um, enter the statistics I want SPSS to calculate. So I'll put mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, range, minimum, and maximum. And then I can go ahead and I can hit continue. And then OK. All right. And hopefully you can see the difference then. In this first graph that I made, we had our different statistics listed as our column headings where our variables were our row headings. Whereas when I went in the second method, I have my variables as the column headings and I have my statistics as the row headings. We don't need to worry about the frequency tables. So when it comes to posting your discussion for that, if it says to calculate, you know, the mean, medium mode, this is the only part that you need to copy right here. And again, um, you can paste it from SPSS. You can use a snipping tool or a print screen to get that little piece of information. I hope that you find this helpful. Again, sometimes it helps to stop, rewind, and watch again. Thanks.